What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today we're doing another vlog, full day of eating, exercising. You're gonna see it all. And I also wanted to share my top five tips for increasing your NEAT, which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is different than your BMR or your basal metabolic rate. Your NEAT are basically those calories that your body burns when you're doing non-exercise activities. I'll get more into it later, but for now I gotta go teach the 5.45 a.m., 6.45 a.m., and 7.45 a.m. at 45 class going to be a blast. You guys will see a little glimpse at that. a.m. I am absolutely starving. I was honestly tempted to stay and take the workout on my own, but I am way too hungry to do that. So I'm gonna work out at home today. It is a hamstring and glute day for me. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that I am testing out a little five day split. So yesterday was chest and tricep. Today is hamstrings and glutes, but I need to eat first because I am literally starving. Let's go home. Before I go any further with this vlog, since I am gonna be sharing my top five tips for increasing your NEAT or your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, I just wanna preface by saying that I am not at all telling you that you need to incorporate these things into your own lifestyle and that you need to do these things in order to be healthy and fit. I am just sharing my top five tips. I'm sharing the things that work for me and the things that I incorporate into my own lifestyle. I think this is all valuable information for anyone who is just starting out on their fitness journey or anyone who is simply just interested and increasing their non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So no hate here, just sharing what works for me and what I think will be useful to you all. But without further ado, let's go make some breakfast because your girl is starving. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Julia, that's really not the most stylish outfit to work out in. But when I'm wearing an outfit like this, a big baggy dry fit t-shirt, some rain shorts, and my sneakers, you know it is about to be a killer leg day. We're doing hamstrings and glutes. I wrote up the workout while I was eating breakfast. And to be completely honest, I went back and had two more platefuls of cantaloupe because I love cantaloupe. Also, I got this. Oops. I got this package sent to me yesterday and it is battle ropes. How cool is that? This Amazon brand. I broke my yoga mat. Well, that really just cut a hole in my yoga mat. Now I'm sad, but I'll get over it. An Amazon brand sent me battle ropes and like a boxing punching bag. If only I had somewhere to use these battle ropes, but we are gonna take them to the track and loop it around a soccer goal and do some battle ropes there. So that's gonna be fun. But I'm getting so carried away. It's about to be a killer leg day, hamstrings and glutes. Let's get into it. I'll put the whole entire workout on the screen so you guys can try it for yourself at home.
hamstrings and glutes are done. It took me about 50 minutes. There were those five supersets and then that little warm up circuit as you guys saw. As you know, I'm doing this five day split. So on Mondays, I do chest and triceps, Tuesdays, hamstring and glutes, Wednesdays, shoulders and core, Thursdays, quads and glutes, Fridays, back and biceps. And then if I'm feeling up for it, I have a ton of energy. Then Saturday, I do a full body circuit with a little bit of cardio mixed in. So that's a little rundown on the split. Here's a little body update. I feel a lot like leaner, more fit, more functional. I just feel better doing this five day split. I'm not all saying that you have to do it. Everyone's bodies are different. Some people thrive off of HIIT and cardio training. Some people thrive off literally three days a week of heavy weights. Everyone is completely different. This is just what I'm currently trying and I'm currently loving. But with that being said, workout is complete. I'm gonna go take a quick walk outside before I have some lunch because it looks absolutely beautiful out there. And that brings me to tip number one for increasing your NEAT, which is just walking more. I know, it sounds so simple and easy. And if you know me, I literally walk everywhere. It is second nature to me. It just happens. I walk to work, I walk to the grocery store, I walk to restaurants. Luckily, I live in the city, so I have the convenience of being able to walk everywhere. But little things like parking farther away so that you have to walk into work, walk farther to the grocery store, actually going to the grocery store so that you have to walk around the aisles instead of getting your groceries delivered. I know that has become so normal with 2020, just getting everything delivered, but go shopping, go to the grocery store, get out and about, get those steps in. Steps are seriously super important because a lot of people work out for one hour a day and they think they're good, but you can't just work out an hour and then be sedentary the rest of the day. Like It's good to just be active throughout the entire day. Get those steps in here and there. That's why so many people stress their step goal. It really is so important to get those steps in because you have to be active throughout your entire day. I'm not saying you need to get up and walk around all day long, but it is nice to get some steps in here and there, get some more movement in throughout your day and just walk more in general. I promise you'll feel so much better coming from someone who walks all the time. It feels great. <laughs> Little steps add up and that helps increase that non-exercise activity thermogenesis. I hope that made sense. I'm gonna get outside and go on my walk while the sun is shining. Okay, it is 12.41, I am back home now. I tried to film this so many times outside, but there was just so much traffic and wind and people that I had to come back inside to film this. But it was way too nice out to just do a walk, so I ended up jogging two miles out and then walking the two miles back in. I like to do that whenever it's nice out, and it really does help my legs with the recovery process. And we're supposed to get snow tomorrow and like a high of 30 degrees, even though it's late April, so. I figured I might as well soak up the warmth and sunshine while I can. Yes, I'm staying gross because I meet with my in-person client later tonight and I do a lot of like the walking and some of the exercises with her. So no sense in showering. I'm starving once again. What's new? It is actually time for lunch, so it's perfect. But before I get into lunch, I did want to mention tip number two for increasing your NEAT just because it kind of plays right off of tip number one, which was to walk more. And tip number two is to take the hard way. So if you're someone who works in an office building or works somewhere with an elevator or escalator, start taking the stairs, whether you like it or not. It helps increase your movement throughout the day, increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're going somewhere, park farther away. That way you have a longer walk to your actual destination. Whatever you are doing, wherever you are going, just think about what is the harder way to do this what would involve more movement and do that if you have time if you're in a rush I totally understand don't do it but if you have plenty of time and you want to get some more movement in take the hard way guys that is tip number two now let's go eat some lunch <laughs> okay lunch is served I didn't film myself making it because honestly my kitchen is a disaster, but that's just the reality of living with guys. But this is a super simple turkey wrap. It's literally a tortilla, a tiny little bit of mayo, four slices of turkey, because I'm prioritizing my protein intake, as you guys know, and then some lettuce on top. I know, crazy simple. Um, but I didn't take anything out to thaw. So that's the reality of my lunch. And then two clementines on the side. You guys know I love them.
Okay, it is now a little bit past three o'clock. I've been client programming and editing some YouTube videos on my computer. I forgot, I totally wanted to make banana bread because I have three ripe bananas and I got this new banana bread loaf at Marshall's the other day. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the exact same recipe um, that I used last time I made banana bread while vlogging, which I think was not that long ago. I will link it down in the description below. It doesn't use chocolate chips, but I, of course, am going to add the chocolate chips. But it starts with three ripe bananas. I already preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we need three eggs. We need a quarter cup of sweetener, so I'm just gonna use honey. Actually, I really don't wanna waste my honey, so not that it's a waste, but. So we're gonna use coconut sugar because I have way more of that than I do honey. I also need a quarter cup of any mild liquid, so we're gonna do coconut oil. I'm not really sure if that's considered mild, but it's the only oil that I have. Besides like olive oil, which definitely isn't mild. Some cinnamon, a teaspoon, but you guys know me. I love cinnamon and we don't measure here. Calls for one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Pretty sure that's like equivalent to a lid. One teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then lastly, just three cups of almond flour. It says specifically not almond meal. Oven is preheated to three. I feel like that's a lot of flour. And then all I do, it says, is put this in the oven for 50 minutes or until the toothpick inserted into the middle of it comes out clean. Into the oven it goes. Also, I've been doing a terrible job keeping you guys posted on what I'm eating. I had more cantaloupe, I had a few pieces of dried mango, and then I also had some of the Utz party mix. So freaking good. Love that stuff. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The Us Party Mix with like the Doritos, the tortilla chips, the pretzels, the Cheetos. Cameron and I shared a bowl of it when I was on the couch working on my computer. And now we're gonna have some banana bread later. I told you guys I eat a lot. <laughs> Okay, the banana bread technically has three minutes left on it, but it looks done, so I'm gonna take it out and test it. It's beautiful. I think it's done. This knife is pretty darn clean. Okay, banana bread is almost done cooling, and to be honest, while it was baking, Cameron and I snuck in a little quick two-mile walk. It is now 66 and sunny out, so we had to take advantage of that and get a little movement in. I have been sitting at my computer for way too long, which brings me to tip number three for increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is to break up your work. You guys know I worked early this morning, came home, ate my breakfast, worked out, then I worked on my computer for a few hours, got tired of that, so then I got up, made some banana bread, went on a walk, and now I'm about to get back to some computer work. If you have the luxury of being able to split up your work like that throughout the day, if you're a student doing homework, finals, classes, find time in between those things to get up, walk around. I'm gonna be sitting at my computer for a while, but then I actually go see my client later tonight. So, as you can see, I have periods of work, periods of movement, periods of work, periods of movement. It's not all high intensity, a lot of it is low intensity just walking, but getting in that movement throughout my day, I feel like makes my brain work so much better and it makes my work so much more productive. If you have the luxury of being able to split up your work like that, highly recommend. If you have a normal nine to five job, something like that, see if you can maybe get your workout in during your lunch break. A lot of times that helps people be more productive and just feel better all around. And then maybe in the morning or at night, you can take a chill, quick walk something like that. But since we are talking about work, that actually brings me right into tip number four for increasing your neat, which is to get a standing desk 
or like work at a bar top. You guys know I have that bar in my living room. I personally love editing, standing up at that bar. My back and my hips start hurting if I'm sitting for way too long. So try a standing desk. You burn more calories standing than you do sitting. So that's another reason why it increases your niche. But a lot of times people actually prefer working at a standing desk. It also helps with your posture. So if you're someone who is working at home right now or a student working at home, I highly recommend a standing desk. Now we need to try this banana bread because it has been long enough. I was just downstairs editing this vlog actually and I got a package delivered. So I don't know if you guys are familiar but there is this Australian activewear brand called LSKD. They actually reached out to me on Instagram and asked if they could send me some activewear and they sent me some. I didn't expect it to get here this fast. Like it's literally been less than a week and it got here from Australia and I'm so excited. How sweet is that? My order was packed by Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. There are two different masks. I think these are some shorts and then maybe some leggings, but let's open it up. Okay, so this one is more like fabric and it just has their logo across the top. It also does have like the nose piece that like makes it stay in place more. This one is that thin athletic-y material, more like sweat wicking, I would say. Ooh, I love this color. These seem like they're like six inch shorts and they have the little logo, very subtle right there on the back. Holy cow, I'm a big fan. These are the Rep X short tight in a size small in the color frost gray. Maybe after I shower tonight, I'll try these on quick so you guys can see them. But those are the shorts. We also have some leggings. These have the LSKD logo white on the bottom. They are the Rep 7 8 tight in a size small in the color wine. Thank you LSKD for sending me this. You guys are too sweet. You probably don't watch my YouTube videos, but I'm gonna say it anyway, thank you. I will definitely try to remember to try these on after I shower tonight so you guys can see what they look like on frost gray and wine and two masks because you can't go anywhere without a mask right now. It is almost 6.30 and dinner is served. I just have a chicken breast, some roasted potatoes that I did in the air fryer, so I guess air fried potatoes, and then some broccoli with some peppers and onions. Basically just simple whole foods that I had and I threw together and put in a bowl. Doesn't necessarily go together well, but it's delicious and nutritious. Um, I do eat dinner a little bit earlier on these days just because I train my client in person from 7.30 to 8.30 and then I have a snack when I get home. So you guys will see that later on tonight. But for now, this is dinner. We're back. I have a confession. It is now the next day. I just got home from work and showered. I also did already record all of this content, but I was just not happy with it. I was way too tired last night to be like functioning properly. So we're gonna re-record it. I got home around 9, 15 p.m., had some banana bread, showered, poorly filmed stuff, and then got in bed around 10. But I need to do the LSKD try on haul for you guys and I need to tell you guys tip number five for increasing your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is to do things yourself. By that I mean, if you have yard work, do it yourself if you have the time. Do your own grocery shopping, like I mentioned before. Do your own cleaning around your house, your own laundry. All these things add up to more movement throughout the day, thus increasing your need and increasing the calories burned throughout the day. But yes, do things yourself, especially if you have the time to do so. I know yard work might not be the most fun, but if you have time to do it, get outside, 
get that yard work in and you will get some more movement in and increase your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Those are just a few examples, but there are so many more things that you can do for yourself to increase your movement throughout the day. That wraps up my top five tips for increasing your NEAT. I hope that was helpful. Now let's get into this LSKD try on haul. Okay, first things first, while we're up close and personal, let's try on these masks. This one is the thicker fabric with the little nose piece to keep it a little bit tighter. Very comfortable. I just put on my Frey skincare and the lotion smells amazing. So I love wearing masks after it because I just like sniff in the smell of that lotion. That's probably really weird, but trust me, Frey skincare top notch. I have a discount code Julia Merwin for 10% off your order. The link is also in my Instagram bio and I have it down in the description box below. Anyway, back to LSKD. Super comfortable mask. It's almost like cushiony. Big fan and the logo is right there on the side. The straps are not adjustable but I actually prefer it that way. I don't like when there's that little like notch there because it always hurts my ears. And then the second mask is the thinner, more athletic -y material. I actually have an F45 one exactly like this. So this one would definitely be better for like working out, definitely more sweat wicking, super thin, and then the logo is across the bottom. Now let's get into the clothes. Okay, first things first, we have the Rep 7 8 tights in a size small in the color wine. These are the ones with the white logo across the ankle. Um, honestly, they are a lot more compressive than most of my other leggings, but I do like compressive. With that being said, I may have been able to do a medium just because they are tight. Like they're definitely hard to get on, but they're very comfortable on, super soft, Pretty sure they are squat proof. They have stitching that runs down and in towards your knees. There are pockets on either side. I think they're very flattering. They are very high waisted and the waistband is very snug. So like I said, I probably could have gone a size medium to make them a little bit more comfortable, but great leggings for high intensity stuff. Nice white logo down the side. And then there is the logo on the back of them as well. Overall, very pleased. I think these would be great for high intensity stuff, but let's try on the shorts now. Okay, these are the shorts. They're in the color frost gray. They are the Rep X shorts tight in a size small as well. Same compressive yet super soft material. They have the pockets on either side. There's no big logo, but there is this super subtle LSKD across the back waistband, which I'm honestly a huge fan of. I'm really not one for big logos all over stuff. I like very subtle branding. Um, so these are right up my alley. I think they are the perfect length. I have short legs, so I'm really not a fan of like biker shorts, but these I feel like look very flattering. Yeah, but as you can see, it definitely cuts in more on my skin because of that more snug feeling waistband. Probably could have gone medium, but at the same time, if I'm just wearing this for like an hour long high intensity workout, these are probably great. They stay in place really well. They don't roll at all when I'm doing squats. Overall, very pleased with both of these items. Love this frost gray color. I think it also looks amazing with white. Super grateful that LSKD even reached out to me and offered to send me some things. So big fan of LSKD. I'm really just a fan of anything that has to do with Australia, hence F45. If you didn't know, it was actually started in Australia. They are just really in sync with their health and fitness over there. And I love it. I need to go there one day. Mark my words, I will go to Australia one day. I think that just about covered everything. I'm very glad that I decided to re-record this stuff because I was just not ready to record last night. I was just way too tired. I was exhausted. I took over 25,000 steps yesterday and I needed to go to bed, especially since I had to wake up early for work this morning. I am a morning person, so I didn't have trouble waking up, but my body and my brain just needed some rest. So. Sorry, it is now the next day, but you guys are seeing this all together at once, so it really doesn't make a difference to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found my tips informative and helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.